Hello everybody! Today I am here doing a new vintage hairstyle that is um, much requested and very much dreaded by most girls and that is a snood style. And I know a lot of girls are very confused in how to kind of wear a snood. I find that it's the best if you do something very done in the front and then you can just not worry about the back. If you just throw it on your head it's going to be really messy. So I like this style because it's really quick and easy but it still makes your hair look very finished and it also helps to keep the back of your hair from being damaged by curling it so much. So I'm a fan of the snood. You can get these on Amazon if you just look up snood, S-N-O-O-D, on Amazon.com. You can find them in every single color, um, any variety that you need, and they're also pretty cheap, which, hey, I'm a fan of cheap. So uh, let's, let's do this. Okay, so to start, make sure that your hair is nice and brushed out. Now I'm gonna part my hair. And basically you're just gonna part your hair into three sections. This section's gonna be a little bit bigger than the second two sections. So I'm gonna pin the first section into place while I part my other two sections. Now I'm gonna take the back part of my hair and I'm just gonna tie it into a ponytail to keep it out of the way while I make the rolls in the front. Okay, so I'm gonna do this roll first. And I'm just gonna do this just like I do my victory rolls and my barrel rolls. Super easy. I'm just gonna take a curling iron and just curl the hair in the direction that you want the roll to go. And you don't have to be super precise about it, just make sure that you get all the ends in there. So now I'm gonna tease each section. Now I'm gonna take some of my styling wax and just smooth the flyaways. Now I'm gonna take my smoothing brush and smooth those same flyaways. Now I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spray and then I'm gonna roll it down and then I'm gonna pin it. I'm only gonna do one pin for now until I start doing the other two because things might shuffle a little bit. Okay, so then I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing on the other sides, but these ones I'm gonna have roll towards that first roll. Now I'm gonna take the hair and wind it around my fingers and then just roll it down. Now I'm gonna pin it and put another pin in there just to make sure it's anchored and give it a spray and a smooth. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Just be careful as you're teasing that you're not messing up that center roll. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, roll it around your fingers and then roll it down. And this one you're gonna place just a little bit behind that first roll. Give it a pin. Now I'm gonna go back to that first roll and just kind of arrange it however it lays the most naturally now that I've got that roll behind it. Okay, so now that the front is done, the back part is super easy. You're just gonna put all of your hair into your snood. It's so amazingly easy. The one thing I do like to do is tie the ends in a ponytail so that they don't stick out of the snood at all, like that, so that they don't poke out. And then I'm just gonna kinda roll them under when I put the snood on. So you're gonna start at the top of your hair. Just be sure you don't mess up those rolls. And you're just gonna pull it over your hair and then make sure you get all of the little loose ends tucked in there. Now, especially when you have rolls, you're going to want to pin this because if you don't, it's just gonna slide right off the back of your head. So I pin it right here to anchor it, and then be sure to tuck everything. And be sure to tuck that little ponytail holder underneath that you have back there too so that you can't see it. And then pin on the sides also, otherwise it'll start to slide back. So that's basically it, it's super easy. If you feel like you, if you feel like this is too flat for you and you want a little bit more volume in your snood, you can always back, back comb your hair, tease your hair down here so it gives a little bit more volume. But I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of a snood, which is kind of just to be super easy and quick. So totally up to you. Hope you guys thought this was useful and helpful. And um, let me know if you want to see any more styles like this. I would be happy to do them. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys.